Hi, my name is Garrett Rennan. And I'm Jessica Rennan. Little disclaimer to start. We're not doctors, we're not dietitians, we're not nutritionists. We're just here to give you some ideas, information only. So if you've got an issue, talk with your doctor before you change anything. Anyhow, what is this all about? What are, what are we offering here? We're offering information. We're offering you a glimpse into our kitchen and some ideas of what we put on our plate. But more importantly than what we eat, we want to tell you why we make the choices that we make. Kind of let you know what's going on inside our head. In addition to food, we also want to let you know about a couple biohacks that we found in our life to improve our overall well-being. So why should you care about what we eat or what we do? Well, because we're extremely passionate about health. We're extremely passionate about being strong. But most importantly, we're extremely passionate about trying to live life to its fullest. Every day we strive to make that day better than the previous day. And in fact, we start first thing in the morning. The first thing we do when we wake up is we write in our five minute journal. This is an amazing practice of gratitude and it's something that can definitely change your life. So I highly recommend it. But when it comes to health and well-being, we could probably argue the most important thing is food. I mean, we eat three meals a day over 300 days a year. That's over a thousand meals. So if we're going to make an improvement in our health, we've got to start with the food. Yeah, and that's why food is so important because food feeds our body, it feeds our mind and even our soul. But unfortunately, all food is not created equal and garbage in equals garbage out. See, every day we get to make a choice. We can be evil or we can be good. We can see the positive or we can see the negative. We can choose to be the hero or we can just choose to be a victim. Who I am and who you are is nothing more than a product of your past choices. So if you're looking to create a better future, it starts with the choices you make today. Remember this, who you are to become, you are now becoming. So your future self will be dependent, dependent on the choices you make today. And one of the best places to make positive change is changing what we eat, what we consume. At the end of the day, the food you eat can either help you or it can harm you. So if you're looking to jumpstart into a healthy lifestyle or even take your health to the next level, we encourage you to follow us for the next 21 days. And who knows, your future self may even thank you. So I told you all about the 21 day program, but what can you expect? So each day what we're gonna do is cover one topic and give you our menu. Right after this, you'll see our menu and then you'll hear all about our meatloaf. Enjoy. On the menu today, meatloaf. And what we did for a little fun was to add two pounds of ground pork along with four pounds of grass-fed ground beef. This meatloaf is definitely a staple in the Renan household. It's very easy to make, takes about 15 minutes to prepare and just a little over one hour to bake. Here's the secret ingredient, roasted bell peppers. This allows us for a much healthier option compared to ketchup, which is very standard in most meatloafs. So what you do is you make sure you drain the red bell peppers and then you blend them. Blend them as well as you can. Next, and actually this should be one of the first things you do, you wanna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Also, before you mix it, add, this is the time to add your seasonings. We put on some black pepper and some Himalayan sea salt. Next, you add the red bell pepper sauce. Make sure you separate some. That's gonna go on the top later. As we were mixing this, we realized we had forgot the cheese and we will add that later. There we go, adding the cheese. So here's a key, another secret. Put these in individual containers. Make sure you, they're baking safe, but these individual containers, are, our meals are already separated and ready for the next day. So the last 10 minutes, you wanna take them out and you wanna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top, put them back in the oven, bake them for 10 minutes and voila.
So if you like this content, please share it with your friends. And of course, we are always open to feedback and or any questions. So thank you. And once again, good luck on this 21 day journey.